Well before he hears the sound of hungry mosquitoes, naturalist Jeff Maine takes every precaution against insects and the serious, even deadly diseases they can carry. There's West Nile that's associated with mosquitoes. Um, and there's Lyme disease, of course, which is dis associated with tick bites. Maine always wears light-colored, loose clothing with long sleeves. He tucks his pants into his socks. And he uses insect repellent, avoiding, if possible, those with the chemical DEET. Consumer Reports has tested both types of repellents, those with DEET and plant-based ones without DEET. We think that DEET is really an insect repellent that you should use as a last resort. And you should certainly not use it in any concentration of more than 30%. Consumer Reports test shows 30% DEET works very well. So products such as Jungle Juice 100 with nearly 100% DEET aren't necessary. And with DEET exposure, there are possible side effects like skin blisters, slurred speech, and even seizures or coma. Also, avoid devices that clip on and use a fan to circulate repellent around you. Products like Off Clip-On contain the active ingredient metafluthrin, which Consumer Reports says can pose risks to your nervous system. And their tests, done several years ago, found it doesn't work very well anyway. Consumer Reports says consider using repellents that contain no DEET, like Repel's Lemon Eucalyptus, or products with picaridin, which is similar to a compound in black pepper.